everyone, welcome to Online Bible Club. I'm Liz and I'm really glad you've joined me today. It's such a beautiful day, isn't it? So I thought we'd go for a picnic. Now, before we go for a picnic, we've always got to make our sandwiches. So I'm just starting on ours. Let's just check with John what he would like in his sandwich today. John, what filling do you want in your sandwich? Oh, I'm easy. We'll have tuna or mackerel. I don't <gasps> mind which. Fish sandwiches. Okay, we're going to make those. What's your favourite sandwich? Do you like having a picnic? Our story today is about a lad who goes on a picnic and we're going to find out what happens. But first, let's go singing. See you after the song. <laughs> remember Karen told us a story about how Jesus walked on the water it was what we call a miracle that means something that Jesus can do because he is God and we can't do and Jesus did lots of miracles when he was here on earth and he did them so that we would know who he truly is and that we would believe and trust in him so today we have another miracle of Jesus now Jesus when he was here on earth he got tired and he was worn out sometimes and he'd had a really busy day and so he got in the boat with his disciples and they went across the Sea of Galilee. We've talked about the Sea of Galilee before haven't we? While Jesus was crossing just hoping to have some quiet time just with his disciples he could see a great crowd of people walking all the way round the lake. What do you think they were doing? Where do you think they were going? They knew Jesus was going up to the mountain with his disciples and they said they wanted to find out more about God, they wanted to hear more from Jesus, and they were following him. As Jesus went across the lake in the boat, so they walked all the way round the lake. It was about a 10 mile walk, that's a long way. And they carried on because they were so keen and wanted to know more about Jesus and about his Father in heaven, God. So when Jesus got to the other side, he spoke to these people. But he was also really concerned. It had been a long day for them and many of them hadn't brought any food. And one of the disciples said, well, where are we going to get the food to feed all these people? And somebody said, well, even if we collected money, would we ever have enough? They needed about 
200 denarii. Now people got paid one of those for their day's work. So they had to find 200, 200 denarii to pay for the food. And then everybody would have just had a little crumb. So Jesus said to Philip, what do you think, Philip? Where do you think we can feed these people? Philip thought they were up a mountain, there was no shops, and they certainly didn't have 200 denarii. And do you know how many people were there? The Bible says there was 5,000 men, plus their wives and women, plus all the little children. And plus more. Oh, imagine having to feed all those people. Even if they set off to go home now, many of them would be too tired to make it all the way home. But Andrew, one of Jesus' other disciples, found one of the lads. Now, can you see this is Andrew and this is one of the lads and he's brought a packed lunch. There's the boat out on the Sea of Galilee and these are some of the people. Let's have a look inside this lad's lunch. This is for one boy. Let's see what we've got. A fish, two fish. Let's have a look what else is inside here. Oh, I can't get it out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five little rolls so it was like he had some fish sandwiches that was his lunch just for him hmm so how far do you think that would go it would just feed this one little lad it certainly wouldn't be enough for andrew and the other disciples it certainly wouldn't be enough for all those five thousand men would it and the women and the children <gasps> i think there was lots of rumbly tummies but Jesus said, it's enough, it's okay. And the Bible says that Jesus took that packed lunch, which the lad gave him, and then Jesus did something really special. He looked up to heaven and he thanked God for the food. Do you remember to say thank you every time you have a meal? Sometimes it's easy to forget, isn't it? But remember that God gives us everything, food, our health and strength, we have our families and friends, we have so much to be thankful for and we need to say thank you. So then Jesus said to his disciples, get everyone to sit on the grass, there's lots of grass up a mountain isn't there? And he gave every disciple some of the bread and some of the fish. Can you see this disciple? He's handing some bread to this lady and his people. There's some more people waiting patiently over here. I think this is a little child. And the Bible says that the food kept coming. They kept giving more and more and more food. And at the end of it, Jesus said, please go around with the empty baskets and if there's any food left over, please can you collect it? And every disciple, and there was 12 of them, collected up the fragments or the little bits that people didn't want to eat. So there was 12 baskets left over at the end. So Jesus doesn't like waste, that's why he's collected everything back together. Now, how did Jesus make that small packed lunch, that's what it started as, how did he make it feed so many people? They went, didn't just have a few crumbs each, they didn't just have a little bit of fish. They all ate so much that they were full. There was no rumbly tummies at the end. Plus, look at all this. Well, it reminds us of who Jesus is. Jesus is the one who makes all our food. And what happened? Jesus just created more food to feed those people because Jesus is God's son. And that reminds us of who Jesus really, truly is. But Jesus also said one more thing. He said, I am the bread of life. Now, we made our sandwiches earlier to go on our picnic. And we would eat those for our picnic. And then in the evening, oh, 
our tummies would be hungry and we would need more food. And then for breakfast the next day, we would need to eat again. So our food lasts us for a little while, gives us our strength and our energy, and then we need to eat again. But inside us, remember we've told us that we've got our souls, and Jesus said, he's the bread of life, and he feeds our souls. And life is not just for this life, but remember it's everlasting life that never, never, never stops. So Jesus says, if we trust in him, we will never be hungry again in that we will trust God and we will know that he's in our life and he will satisfy us. We will need to eat our food here, otherwise we won't stay strong and healthy, but it means our souls are fed and our lives are changed by Jesus. So each one of us today, we need to remember that we can trust in Jesus not just for our food for today, which we say thank you for, but to change our hearts and to take away our sins and to make us like him. We can get the bread of life in our souls and live forever with him. Isn't that amazing? And only Jesus can do that for me and for you. That's an amazing story. So let's pray before we go. Hands together and eyes closed. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this amazing story we've heard today from your word, how that you took those five loaves and those two small fish and you fed so many people. We thank you that you are truly God and we worship you. We thank you too that you've told us that you will take away our sins and you will feed us with the bread of life, meaning that we can live forever with you in heaven. Lord, help each one of us to trust you and believe in you and to know that you've taken away our sins. Thank you, Lord, for all the other things you've made for us. We thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for our health and our strength and our family and our friends. Amen. Well, it's been lovely speaking to you today and I hope you've enjoyed listening to the story. See you again. Bye-bye.